Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Got my cup of coffee. I'm gonna make this quick because I wanna. I'm gonna try this live thing again. I wanna try to go live again and see how this works out. Cause I need to know when everyone is up. Because some people may have questions, okay, and I can probably answer them, so, or we can just have random talks, okay. But so yesterday I did a lot of videos because I kept watching this yesterday and I have to keep my eye on it. Okay. Um, some people can't watch the stock all day long. I don't watch it all day long, but there's times where I have a, a second or a break that I can, um, I can look at it and I can make a video. Right. So it is up from yesterday. Okay. And I told you guys, I told you guys yesterday that Guys, I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to eat while I'm doing this. I just got a little bitty snack. I'm, this is what I'm eating today right here. Pop-Tart and a coffee, <laughs> okay? But like I told you guys yesterday, um, it was most likely going to um, push. Uh, we can't even see it right now because I'm arriving here. That's why I can't see everything. But anyway, we was going to most likely see a barcode sideways. There may be some buy-in orders in the morning, which that happens. People bought. It went up and it, and then a and it it went up and then some people sold off the same almost the same amount that it went up it sold off and this is kind of typical like early morning and, and that's when I tell you like the wolves are out the wolves are out man they're like planning and they're doing all kind of sneaky stuff so and they make you think it's it's running in the morning and then they pull back and they sell it take the profit and then they go back in and do it all over but right now. It's kind of barcoding right now, okay? So we're still, and this is good because right there it bounced off and it start, it's trying to go back up, but it didn't bounce back down and, and test this part right here, this um, 35.5. It didn't go back down and test that. So that's good. So it lets me know that most likely it's probably going to shoot up a little bit more. And guys, I'm telling you, I've been saying this like weeks. I feel like we're, we were at the beginning stage of where like no one was talking about this. No one, only very few people, but no one was talking about it on a daily basis. I feel like I'm one of few people that are talking about it. And now there's a show that I watch. I don't know if it's up here. Let's see. Yeah. So you guys, you see this show up here. You see this up here at the top, Market Watch Live. That is one of the shows where I've learned a lot. And these guys, they do live trading. They're professionals. Um, they're trading large amount of money. And they do this every single day. They give you updates. Um, I just listen to them, right? I listen to the lingua. I listen to what they're talking about. And I listen to how they trade, right? And I And then they kind of tell you like what's trending and then they got a live chat and people talk so and sometimes they see your comments and they will go look up a stock and see what's going on with it and they they're pretty much into scalping and a lot of times they're waiting for something to run up and they will ca try to cash in and capitalize on the, on the run up but a lot of times once they see it, the whole market is going up and they want they like scalping things coming down that's what i've noticed on that show when it things start turning around or the market start crashing they really capitalize on that that's what they that's what they're known for from what i see but anyway that's a good show to get into just listen to it even though it may sound like a different language you have to listen to it to know what they're talking about and a lot of times i let i just say a lot of times I let the professional people that really know what they're doing, um, I let them do all the searching and do all this other stuff. And then I get the information information from them, right? And then it um, it helps me out, okay? Let the smart people do all the thinking. <laughs> I put it that way, okay? Um, but yeah, it's up a lot from yesterday. And there was, there's been quite a few people that's on my on my channel that said they woke up this morning and they had a, a thank you for mentioning the stock. Thank you. Um, I got in at 12. I got in at 
Some people got in at 10. This one guy got in at like 0 0.07, 0 0.05 or something like that. Like he's been in it for a while. So he he's up a lot if he hasn't sold. I know he is. Um, and then, um, yeah. So a lot of people are up. Their account is up. Now, the key point is, like I tell everyone, it's not financial advice. It's just um, for edu educational purposes only, okay? You need to pick a price. If you're going to sell, pick a price, okay? Once that number reaches 40, 50, if it hits a dollar, Pick a price and keep it in your head and say, when it hits that, I'm going to, I'm going to sell. Okay. Um, and have a minimum. If it's just start pulling back real strong, you got to think in your head like, okay, it's pulling down, it's pulling down, it's pulling down. Uh, it, it may rebound and go back up. Pick a price that's down to where you're comfortable with and you're still going to come out with a profit, okay? If it pulls back to 20 and you got in at, just say 10, this is an example, you got in at 10 and say it pulls back to around 20 and it's still heading down, like that's your, like that's your part, that's the part that you may want to get out. Set a minimum because you're still going to make a profit. You're not going to make the top because people, you hear a lot of people say, Oh man, I, I should have held it. I should have sold or I should have held it. It went to it went to uh, two dollars. I should have held it. You can't when you say should have, that's like like you're saying like you don't you don't know to hold because you can't predict the future. You can't predict what's ahead of you. So you can't say I should have. You just can't use that word. You can't say I should have because you don't know which way it was going to go anyway. Um, if it would have stopped where you sold and start going the other direction, then you would never think to say, oh, I should have held it or I should have sold or you wouldn't have never said it. Those words would never came across your mouth. OK, so try not to use. Oh, I, man, I should have held it a little bit longer. I could have got a little bit more because you don't know. You don't know if it, you don't know that it would have went up. You only know that because it happened right now and it's you sold and it went up more. OK. And it's hard to predict the top of a stock. Very hard. So set some prices and go with it and don't look back. Even if it's just higher than what you sold it at, just be OK with the amount that you made. OK, now we're, we're going to keep an eye on it. I think I think people are going to wake up and people are going to see their account is up and they're going to be like. And some people are going to sell, right? Some people are going to sell. But there's going to be newcomers because this is still at the beginning, towards the beginning stage of where people are, are like, this ticker, you know, and people are going to pile in. I, this is just my opinion on how I think. I think people are going to sell in the morning, this morning, because they're way up. They are at a profit. Um, and then they're going to, um, and then some buyers are going to come in. After they see it pull down, some buyers are going to come in and buy. And you may get you may get a big dog come in and buy a whole bunch of shares on some news. So it's all it takes is some really, really good news to come out and then it flies off the chart. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to eat. I may just turn on the live here for a moment, for a moment and see if you guys come in because I'm trying to, I'm trying to find out a good time to, to do a live either like later in the evening, in the morning, some people are up in the morning. But yeah, so I'm going to show you my position because I did say I want to keep it transparent, as they say, because I don't care if you know how, how little I have or how much I have. Even if this goes back down to what I initially put in, I'm fine with it. But I have my I have my out price in my head. OK. Um, market value is thirteen hundred, almost fourteen hundred. And I'm up right here. I'm up 187 percent, um, 900. This morning it was like over a thousand percent. Like I could have took that thousand dollars, but me personally, I don't think I I don't have. It didn't hit my target price. I just say that. 
you didn't hit my price that I'm waiting on. And it may pull back. Even if I, even if this number changes to 400, I'm okay with it. If it changes to 100, I'm okay with it. As long as I don't lose my initial investment, okay? I don't truly have this unless I hit the sell button. I don't lose unless I hit the sell button. I don't win unless I hit the sell button, okay? Now, let's keep an eye on it. I'm expecting some pullback, so that's gonna be kind of natural. And some people may get scared and sell, and it may pull down, then I think it's gonna rebound. This is just my opinion, okay? All right, guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna try to go live real quick. Take care, peace.